ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் ஹவ் யூ ஆல் ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆர் ஃபைன் வெல்கம் டு சாமையல்ஸ் யூடியூப் சேனல் எஸ் இன் திஸ் யூடியூப் சேனல் யூ கேன் எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் ஆல் இன் ஆல் டீடெயில்ஸ் ரிகார்டிங் த ஐஎல்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் ஆஸ் வெல் அஸ் த இங்கிலீஷ் ஃப்ரம் பேசிக் லெவல் டு தி அட்வான்ஸ் லெவல் So, if you are someone who was aiming to settle in abroad, either for studies or for work, of course, you can watch this channel for get more tips and techniques. But to climb up your professional ladder, of course, you need to develop your lot of English. So, here, lot of English tips and tricks will be discussed from the basic level to the advanced level. So, if you are someone who want to be a perfect professional, of course, you are welcome to watch this channel. Well, let's get into today's topic. Today's topic is all about the writing task 1 general. Yes, in the IELTS general, if you are going for the Canada for migration, you need to write the letter writing as the general task 1. So, I am going to discuss uh, some important details regarding the task 1 because this task 1 can boost up your writing score. Because most of the people are stuck up with the 6.5 in writing, however, they manage to get all other modules as 8+. so i'm going to give you all the methods and break down all the techniques that you can actually use to get the band 7 plus in the first attempt itself all right let's get started so before getting into it you should know what is the marking criteria which plays a vital role because the examiner will not assess your exam paper just randomly they have certain things which is actually called as the marking criteria let's discuss this marking criteria first task achievement this task achievement plays a vital role task achievement means you have to answer all the questions properly this is one of the major task in the ielts writing exam because all the questions either it may be a letter writing or the essay writing all the bullet points should be covered and it should be explained properly to your answer secondly coherence and cohesion this coherence and cohesion actually explains the structure of your answer If you are following the correct structure either it may be a letter writing or the essay writing you should follow a proper structure and a method in order to solve this coherence and cohesion also logical explanation with a proper details is mandatory for this IELTS writing task 1 this implicitly requires the coherence and cohesion third thing lexical resource most of the people identify the lexical resource as a wrong manner because they feel that only the stronger words or the uncommon words is called as the lexical resource i feel that the topic related vocabulary plays a vital role in the lexical resource so if you are an ielts aspirant always remember the topic related vocabulary that you need to learn All right this is all about the lexical resource which has 25% of the weightage for your IELTS writing task one moving on to the last thing which is the grammatical range and accuracy which plays a significant role because the grammatical range and accuracy starting from simple present tense to the present continuous present perfect and the present perfect continuous so there are a variety of tenses that you need to mix and match in your writing tense also you need to understand that usage of the complex sentences plays a vital role in increasing your marks for the grammatical range and accuracy which another plays 25 percentage weightage to your marks so these are all the four important criteria on which the ielts examiner actually judge your writing task 1 yes so let's get into more deeper about this in the writing task 1 when you go on into this first you understand the task achievement is based on the type of the letter or the tone of the letter which means in the ielts writing when you look on into the type of the letter there are three types of letter that is formal semi formal and informal also when you look on to the tone of the letter it is so many tones of letter that we have apology request uh, compliant or appreciation there are so many tones of the letter so the examiner will check whether your writing tone is consistent throughout the letter so the examiner in the task achievement will check for the type of the letter as well as the tone of the letter which should be consistent throughout the letter if your type and tone of the letter is consistent then of course you will score a better score in the task achievement all right let's look on into the coherence and the cohesion if you look on into the coherence and cohesion your ideas should be logically framed 
that is most important things and linked properly you should use the appropriate linking words that actually forms a story kind of thing in your essay in your letter writing else you will be getting penalized for this coherence and cohesion and you will not score the marks clearly also please remember your idea should be clearly explained with a specific reason because the specific is most important in the ielts writing this plays a very important role in getting your score above band 7 plus well what is about the lexical resource as i discussed earlier the lexical resource is actually the uncommon words the uncommon words that the native speakers actually use in the writing your letter writing should be formal or informal please remember in the informal letter there are certain variations which i will discuss later in the video however you should know the formal and the semi formal letter use always the formal words you should not use any informal words in between the letter writing which plays again a significant role Moving on to the informal letter I will discuss about this thing later because it consists of a lot of things which need to be discussed Moving on to the last thing grammatical range and accuracy always try to incorporate the complex sentences the complex sentences actually consist of even though while if modal verbs such as could should would might or something of that sort so try to include all the modal verbs at least in few of your sentences in the writing task one which actually impresses the examiner more well this is all about the marking criteria now we are getting into the structure of the letter as i told you there are three types of letter one is called as the formal semi formal as well as the informal in the formal letter writing you need to understand you need to start with dear sir ma'am this is the first starting phrase of the letter and it should end with your faithful and your full name this is the structure that you need to follow and when you go on to the semi formal letter dear last name which means dear mr scott dear mr smith this is the starting phrase of the semi formal letter concluding phrases should be your sincere full name yes this yes statement should be incorporated into the semi formal letter remember the semi formal letter is a bit challenging so if you really like to help regarding the semi formal letter or any letter writing you please approach us we will have a separate class for the writing intensive course in our sam ielts visit www.samielts.in or our team whatsapp number 9043140844 all right let's continue the session so if you are really looking into the tone of the letter as i mentioned you there are several tones of the letter and it should be consistent well let's get into the important topic which is all about the discussion of the informal letters because the formal and the semi formal letters are more or less the same however the informal letter is slightly different from those letters so what are these differences what are the do's and the don'ts of the informal letter let me tell you so what is the informal letter informal letter is something which you write a letter to your friend or your relative this is actually the informal letter all right so how to start this informal letter dear first name dear alice dear anna so these are the first names that you should specify in the starting phrase of your letter well what is the ending phrase of the letter warm regards with love whatever it is but specify only your first name this is the ending phrase of the letter all right so this is regarding the opening and the closing phrase of the informal letter so what are the do's and the don'ts of the informal letter as i already mentioned you the informal letter is actually like consist of some different phrases such as you can use contractions i which means i would i which means i have so you can use the apostrophe to write the phrases this would actually help you to enhance your score point number 2 you can actually use some idioms and phrases in the informal letter which would actually enhance your score i'd be over the moon which means i would be over the moon i would be very happy so this is how you can actually incorporate the informal letter phrases to get band 7 plus so these are the do's of the informal letter however there are certain don'ts of the informal letter what are those don'ts you cannot use the conversational language such as 
I wanna be with you. Wanna. This is W A N N A. Wanna. This is not a word. Please remember. O M G. Oh my God. Of course, this is not a word. So, not you allowed to use the shorter form of the words in the letter writing. Remember, this is an IELTS exam, and you need to be formal and respectful. However, you can use certain informal phrases. So, this is all about the informal letter. All right. So these are all the don'ts of the informal letter, and you should remember these don'ts. So let's get into the how to identify the types of the letter. I told you right, formal, semi-formal, and informal. Let me explain you one by one. Regarding the formal letter, if you are writing a letter to someone who you really don't know, for example, writing a letter to the local councillor is a formal letter. Writing a letter to your HR manager asking for the leave would be a semi-formal letter. Semi-formal is something when you are writing the letter to someone you know, but that person may or may not know you. This is all about the semi-formal letter. And as I told you, informal letter is writing the letter to your friend or relative. So these are all the important things that you should know before writing the letter writing in order to get band seven. If you need any help regarding this letter writing, or if you need any help regarding this letter writing, or any re help regarding the IELTS, we have the comprehensive course in our SAM IELTS. Please visit www.samielts.in or our team WhatsApp number nine zero four three one four zero eight double four. Also, I'm going to attach you a special PDF which actually consists of the letter writing sample. So, please download the PDF if you are really looking into that. Clear the IELTS in the first attempt itself, which would really help you. Thank you.